Hi, my name is Kaylee, and today we are going to make, be making a bundt cake using easy peasy mixes. Now, there's a French cooking term, mise en place, which means put in place. Always get your things together or in their place before you begin. On the front of your directions is a list of the things you will need. You will need a small mixing bowl, a large mixing bowl, a mixing spoon, a pastry brush, a spatula, your bundt cake pan, a digital timer, your no stick goop or cooking spray, your bundt cake pan, your tablespoons, and your oven mitts. And an apron. It's always a good idea to wear an apron from getting your good clothes stained or dirty. Now with your directions in front of you, let's begin with step one. Okay, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And if you're not comfortable with using the oven, ask an adult to help. Now, lightly coat your bundt cake pan with your no-stick goop or your cooking spray. Now take your pastry brush and spread it evenly on the sides. Now, you are going to have to combine one cake mix packet in the large mixing bowl. One cake mix packet, one chocolate chip packet, one, two tablespoons of water, and one fourth of a teaspoon, which is a tiny one. Now, using your mixing spoon, stir together. Okay, now, if the batter is too thick, add a few drops of water and stir. Now, spoon the batter into the prepared pan. Time to bake. Take your cookie sheet. Take your oven mitts. <laughs> okay, now put it on the middle rack or the bottom rack. And place it in. Now, Set your timer for 17 minutes. While the cake is baking, wash all your utensils. After you wash, wait for your timer to go off. Take your oven mints and remove it from the oven. Now, when the cake is done, check for doneness. There will be cracks on the tops or the sides will be coming up. Now, if the cake does not appear done, set the timer for one to two more minutes. Remove the cake using your protective oven mitts. Okay, let the cake cool for three minutes. Using your oven mitts, turn the cake pan upside down. Now, tap lightly to get the cake out. Left. Now let the cake cool in three minutes additional to the frosting. Now it's time to turn your instructions over and get ready to make the frosting. 
So what you're going to need to combine is one frosting mix packet, one teaspoon, one teaspoon, one second teaspoon, and one fourth. Now, use your spatula and stir until smooth. Now spoon or pour the frosting on top of the cooled bun cake. If you're frosting, your frosting should be thin enough to just go down the sides. If it's not, just add a few drops of water and then start. Okay, now decorate with your sprinkles or confetti. Now if you don't have time to pinch it out, just pour it on. My favorite part, eating. <laughs>